welcome to Nellie's Home To Do. I'm Nellie and today I'm going to be showing a haul from Ikea. So let's get started. First, I want to show you this blanket. This blanket I'm going to be putting on our bed. I got this color because we ordered a like a sleeper sofa that we're going to be putting on the opposite edge of our bed. Our daughter still sleeps in our room and so I thought that would be a better solution than having our little foldable bed that she's been sleeping on. So I kind of want to bring in the color of ivory for both sides of the room. I also got these sponges. So I've heard a lot of good things about them. It looks like it has like a rougher side on one edge. These were like $2 for three, which is pretty good. This blanket was $17, okay. And we have these I thought were really a good deal. There are like, I believe 17 pairs in here. So 17 all together with the bottom and top. So, and they're in green, which I love. So I can stream out those red ones that I don't really like. This one, this is so pretty. This is a rug that I got for our bedroom. Um, I have a, another one like exactly this material, but it's like in a lighter color that I put in our kitchen. I cut it in half long ways and put one under the sink and one under the, the stove. I'll take a picture of it so you can see that. But this one is in a darker shade. I thought it was super nice. It's really thick. I don't know if you can use it as a blanket, but I think it's meant to be more like a, like a rug. And also this one. Did I mention? Yeah, the prices. This one, I believe it's originally $17 or $18 and I got it for $10. So. Good deal. Another good deal was this this big wreath that is going to be used on our door, on the outside of our door. We're doing an upgrade out there too, so definitely don't miss that episode that is coming really soon. So we'll be hanging this outside. I'm, I'm going to do some, since we got a new door, I want to kind of revamp the whole area. I'm thinking about painting um, some of the cement around there. And I got another item from Ikea that you'll have to see in that episode. And then I got this beautiful jar. I think it has an airtight seal. And I think this one was like $7 as well. I'm gonna probably put it on our kitchen, kitchen cabinets, put something cute in there. I thought that was nice. And then I saw this, which I wasn't really looking for, but it's uh, like uh, an accordion type of metal code. I think that's what you're I don't know how to go together. I wanted to use it to put uh, the lids and some of the thinner uh, hands. So it opens like this. And then these go like this one so yeah. Not that hard. So I'll put it together. You can kind of see how it goes. So it'll be one of these and all of these here. And then you'll be able to put things in between them so they can stand up and not be so messy. And the drawer. So you can just stand on here. That looks like you can adjust it more to make it bigger thinner things like maybe lids so you can use that for a lot of different things then I got these tongs my daughter wanted one so they're 99 cents each but these are really nice I love the colors then I got this measuring cup it's glass it's really really pretty it goes up to four cups it has a beautiful handle a little This one's to replace the plastic one that I had because I was already pressed. So when I saw this, I said, "All oh, right." Oh, uh, that one was about I want to say six dollars, something like that. Then I got this trash can for our bedroom. Um, I thought it was really pretty. These were two dollars, and they have these in black as well. So if you want a black one, they have that. And last item is this. These buckets. They're more for like storage bins. 
I had some bigger ones in mind that had like a, they were bigger and white and they had a lid. But then my husband saw these for $1.50 and I could not resist it. And so we were looking for the lids for it and then when I tried to stack them back up, I realized that you can stack them up like this. So if you put them the regular way, they go in. But if you put it the opposite direction, it will actually stack. So I'm gonna put these in our laundry room. That's another project that I have coming up soon, our laundry room. A little bit of a help on there that it really needs. It's really, really, you'll see. I'm gonna make a video for it too. And I'm gonna put all of our things in here. I can put some labels, like you know what's inside. Because they're black and you can't see, so. I think that was it for Ikea. Something that isn't from Ikea that I wanted to share anyway since it's in here is this UV light that I use to disinfect everything that um, I want to get my hands on right away that I can't just clean up with a wipey. Here, up here. This I got for about $90 and you just put it in the room that you want to disinfect. You plug it in and if it's a smaller room, you just put it like for 15 minutes and then let it sit for another 45. So whatever else that it it, I don't remember what else it was out, but you're supposed to let it sit for about 45 minutes after it turns off. And if it's a larger room, like the living room, you can leave it for an hour and then 45 minutes after that. So usually when we leave the house for more than two hours, I'll leave it in the main area and have it running. And then when we come back, it's all nice and clean. So I really love it. I'll try to leave a link in the description box of all of these things and, if, and this one as well. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our little haul and that you'll subscribe if you haven't and click all the notifications because I have a lot of projects coming up and I don't want you to miss them. Bye!